Welcome back to another video. All right, so today I'm gonna to be ranking the top 10 best TV comedies of all time. So for me, starting off with top 10, with number 10, we have Inside Job. I feel as if there's like a barrier between live action and animated TV shows. I feel like the, the jokes may not hit hit as well as it may in a live action, as opposed to like a an animated TV show. And just like the, the whole experience and immersing yourself in it, so that's why it's number 10 on the list it's basically like the first hand perspective of someone a daughter of someone that is within uh the shadow government and it's just like some jokes are there and they do kind of like next on the list is arrested development um this was pretty funny up until like the second or third season and then it just started to go downhill especially after the break that he took and then they came back in season four it was just like a little bit less funny but in the first two seasons, it was pure gold, just comedy all the way. Next on the list, we have F is for Family. This was funny up until like towards the end of the season. Um, but yeah. Next, we have The Good Place. This is not that funny of a comedy as it is just a good show. It was written well. The chemistry between the actors was like definitely there and apparent. And it talks about a lot of like deep topics that you can really use to just ponder and think about. So I really just appreciate like how good it is in that sense and respect. But yeah. And next for number five, we have not of uh, for number six, we have Superstore. It's one thing that I really like about this show is that it just happened mainly in one area only. And that is just supermarket, like a superstore. And it's just like real and relatable and wholesome because of all the characters that you really do get to know and they're all just like you know kind of regular people in a sense that you can just easily relate to so it makes it a lot more funnier all right so starting with my top five we have modern family this was i started kind of forcing myself to laugh towards like the later seasons like season five i think out of ten so yeah i'm surprised it actually lasted that long and it also started to like repeat a lot of the lessons that they say towards the end of the episode. For example, um, two of the characters, Cam and Mitch, are married. And in one episode, you will have an instance in which Cam thinks that he's like more masculine than Mitch. And then in another episode, it's the exact opposite. And they just kept, kept, on, kept on kind of doing the same thing for various characters and for various things throughout the seasons and it just got kind of old and boring kind of after some time next on the list we have Brooklyn 99 i don't really need to explain much about this show but it is hilarious and jade peralta is a funny character probably one of the best comedy characters in my opinion and andy samberg definitely plays a role well especially with his uh chemistry with amy santiago's actress as well and this one is kind of like Super Story takes place in one setting as well, primarily, which is just a, a police precinct. So yeah, that's on the list. We have How I Met Your Mother. I remember watching this show and like, I don't remember a time when I didn't laugh <laughs> at the jokes that the show made, especially like Barney Stinson as well. It's about the main character, Ted Mosby, and he is trying to find love and he has a a best friend who was Barney Stinson, who was like an F boy. And then he has like two other, three other friends that are just trying to help him kind of. And then throughout the show, you're getting to know more about the mother that the show is talking about. So yeah. And the end it was kind of pretty sad too. So yeah. That's on the list. We have friends. I'm pretty sure this is self-explanatory. This is just like a, one of the OGs of comedy. So and it's really wholesome as well. It takes place in like one setting, which is the apartment of the friends. And yeah, same thing. I don't really remember a time when I didn't laugh at the jokes in this show. And it's just really funny. And finally, we have the best comedy of all time, The Office. The US version, by the way, not the UK version. We all need to watch the show. Definitely like a 10 out of 10 retro end. And it was just pure jokes from start to finish even up until the end, even after season nine or season eight, after a character leaves the show, it's just, it's still funny. Maybe not as funny, but it's still funny and it's still worth watching.
And yeah, I don't imagine that you wouldn't laugh at the show unless you've watched like, so many other comedies that you're just used to the jokes that you're going to make. But yeah, definitely The Office as another one. All right, yeah, so that's about it for my list. Peace.